Good afternoon. Good morning, guys. How y'all doing? My name is Dave, and today we're going to we're back for another walk around. Let's see what today brings us. Alrighty. So first on my list, how about a good old 2008 Mitsubishi Pajero? Okay. From first impressions, got a TJ on board. Bully. GME. There is one cruising around WA with 37 minutes. Mm. I actually wouldn't mind buying one of these. We got Toyo Open Country. Oh, that bit, how are you going? A bit dry rotted. What's the date code on these? Yeah, that bit dry rotted. Body looks alright, see no dings and dangs. How was the brakes? Oh, uh, brakes all right. Anderson, so she's local. Got a uh, tow bar. Hey, man, Reese. Oh, 25. There we go. That's all nice. And yeah, tow lights could go. Headlights could go for a bit of a buff. Let's go look at the interior. Oh, oh, this is shit and span. It's got rear climate control. It's got nice wow. CD player. It's only a five seater too. I think this is a farmer Oh wait, it's G7 actually. Just a wheel really tucked in. Open the boot for us, Tommy. The back door stopper. Here comes the back stopper. Was that you? Why does your hair look like uh, uh, like orange? Orange? Yeah, in, in the camera. Yeah? It's in a row if it's seven seats. Oh, wait, it is. Never mind. It is a five seat at the moment. <laughs> Mate, she is all right. It is, yes. Let's go look at the bonnet. Oh yeah, just a beautiful 3.2 litre common road diesel injection. Beautiful. Oh, she's clean. Just click that in. Then so, oh yeah, then again, she's Japanese. She's got a fairly new um, fuel filter. How's the oil? Oil oh, looks beautiful for diesel. Do we have any coolant? Mate. Oh yeah, we do. It's a blue coolant. I'm genuinely impressed. Oh, let's fire it up. It's got good brake fluid. Pretty clean. It's got leather seats. 25th anniversary. Still got the floor mats. Got what's this? It's got some wiring down there. I won't touch that. Oh, 312,000 Kaiser. Oh, mate, it's got a nice aftermarket double din radio. Oh, this is beautiful. It's just been serviced too. Next service, so it's just about due for service. Low plug. Oh, great right aircon. Let's turn. Let's turn over that off. Start her up. You sure can. Okay. Well, that sucks. I know. For 312,000 for diesel, I thought this would be nothing, but I guess. I this used to be owned by a farmer. This is just like it's farm diesel. So, unfortunately, this one's not on my list anymore. So, moving on to the next one, which is a Ford Ranger. Now, all these Ford Rangers are hard has been bad luck. So let's just hope this one is decent. All right. So from first impression, she just looks like a typical Ford Ranger. 
Got a few dings and dangs. Oh, she's got a bit of hell damage. Haven't seen that in a while. Oh, jeez. Crumbs. That will bite you. Toys, uh, Bridgestone. Yeah, they look all right. It's got to redraw set up. I reckon this used to be owned by Farmer Joe Senior. Interior looks a bit how you going. She's a 3.6, 3.2 liter, five cylinder diesel injection. Whoa, that bonnet's heavier than the Vigero. Uh, she's pretty clean. Oil, look. she's got oil. She has aftermarket headers. I mean, her. She looks, uh, she looks factory to me. Okay, we got cooler. It's green too. Right, I'll say let's fire this thing up, see what she's all about. Oh, hi, my fit to you here. Hey, hey. Do you fit? Barely. It's oh. about the same as the surf or nav dog, but. Uh, yeah. Gee, hey. she's horrible. 200, 204,650 Ks, and it's due for service. It's actually passed its service date, so oh, oh. Oh. that ain't too good. All right, low plug. Start her up. Little tappy, but you get these with the auction cars. All right. First of all, that's important window work. She, she sure does. That's important window. She sure does. Right, we just check if this back window works. It sure doesn't. <laughs> Good stuff. Like, let's get this aircon kicked on. Air distribution. Fancy. Oh, you don't have a cigarette water. I see. Yeah, she's got ports everywhere. We even got a switch. Look at that, even wireless too. Right, first of all, that's she going high. That's she going to gear. Reverse? Goes in the reverse, how about drive? Doesn't bounce or anything. Reverse. Yep. Drive. Beautiful. Forward. Oh, handbrake's on. Handbrake, lights goes off. Yep. Goes in the reverse. Hmm. Right, put in neutral. Four high. She kicked in and pronto. Four low. Sure that. What's that noise? That sounds like interior. Hmm. Egg on Schneen does not work. Hmm. Well, she goes in the gear. I don't know what that does, but she sounds all right. I think this might have been the. Built so happy. Pressure's building on the cooling system. Good stuff. I think this is a good contender. One of the best Ford Ranger. Oh, that's a bit all right. One of the best Ford Rangers I've seen. I reckon this is a good contender for the list. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Tapping. She's a bit of a how are you going. Next on my list, how about a good old 2015? Oh, wait. Oh, BMW 318i. From first impressions, so uh, bumpers a bit. How are you going? Headlights could do a polish. Tires are beautiful, they're like brand new. He's even got the classic tire shine story on it. Body looks good, it's got a sunroof. 
She's got a few scratches. Oh, her back's bubbling. Bit of cracking here. Paint peel. Oh, she's a bit how you going. But overall, uh, not too bad. Let's get a look at the interior. Oh. But these BMWs scare me sometimes. Oh, it's got the upgrade infotainment system. Right. Oh, this reminds me of my BMW that I used to own. Back in the day, it was a 2000 BMW 380i. Oh, I know this motor too well. They're known for oil leaking. Was this the 3.2 liter in line six? Nope. This is much worse. What the hell is that fuel or oil cap? It's BMW, mate. What the hell? Oh, one of this is a BMW. How can you tell? Now, these are known for stuffing up cooling systems as well. So, uh, why is there so much space here? It's a BMW. No, I don't really want to fire this one out. Oh, she's got coolant. That's a first. And it's green, it's not milk here. On a BMW, that's rare. Nah, I don't like, I have bad experiences with these BMS. How's the oil? Eh, oil is all right. Kind of don't, hang on, we'll fire this one out, but I'm a bit scared about it. Good looking in the interior. Oh, it smells like a BMW. Ooh, ew. Ooh, ew. Have a look at this. Ew. Yeah, I'd recommend not touching that. Yeah, I'm not going to. All right. Full tank. Oh. I think she was going to die out anyway. Exactly. Yep. That's all I need to know about this car. Apart from it's a bit how you going. Strat's actually all right. 200,000 Ks on the clock. But not my list. So moving on to the next one. Next on my list, have our good old RAV4. She's actually a 2002. Oh, so I don't know about that. But she doesn't go in a gear. From first impressions, the body looks a bit how you're going. It's got some spotties. Well, classic bodies, to be honest. Anyway, uh, having a look. She's a stick, like what my mate said. It's got the pin striping. Oh, how we looking? Max track tires. They look all right. Look about how you're going. It's got a back spare. Oh, oh, dry rotted. She's hard. <laughs> that is hard. That's what she said. <laughs> what was the date code on them? It's that old, it doesn't even have a date code. Well, that's why. Isn't that your date code there? Sure. 2010? 45th week of 2010. What's that smell? Smell test? She smells actually good. <laughs> Jeez. It smells like Granny Maunder. Whoa, oh, I'm, I don't really want to sit in this. Oh, oh, that clutch. Oh.
It doesn't, it doesn't move. Don't really want to start this one. Not overly interested in it. We'll take a look at the bonnet, but. Oh, I was gonna say, should pop. I heard it. Go on. Oh, this guy's slow. Jeez, she had one job. Oh! Where's the hood prop? Put it down. Put it down. Oh, jeez. Almost. Keep it there. There we go. Oh, jeez, I thought that was gonna come out. Power steering fluid might need a change. Valve cover's leaking. How is the oil? Do we even have any left to tow off the engine? Oh, we do actually. It's full. We recommend 5W30. Oh, not anymore. How's the engine look? Oh, hear that? Mm. Bit crusty. Hear that? Mm. Bit crusty. Oh, ooh. She definitely missed a few oil changes. Let's just leave it at that. Look how hard that battery is to replace. Why don't couldn't Toyota put it there? Look how long that cruise has been sitting. Oh. Anyway, pop it down. It's the one I said. I reckon we should. I might give this one a pass. Anyway, moving on to the last one on my list today. Oh, so just not just as you can you and the abandoned part. We'll have a look. <laughs> last one on my list. A 2013 Mazda CX-5, which it looks like the best car here, I'm not gonna lie. Look how clean it is. No damage. Look at this. Brand new, new, brand new tires. Max trucks, Sierra, S6. Just a few, she just needs a top up. Look at that sunroof. Bit of, this will buff out, you know, tires are brand new. She's got a three and a half ton towing. <laughs> 1800 maximum. Struts for some good. Look at this. But she looks pretty right. A little bit of clear coat peeling there, but overall not too bad. She's push button start. I, I'm, I'm very interested in that. Oh. Ooh, a little bit of popping there. Let's get a look at the boot. Oh, she doesn't go by itself. How clean that looks. She smells nice. She smells nice. Mm. I actually might look. I actually might buy this. Oh, look at this. This is nice. This is clean. Check the bonnet. It smells like an extra. Just adjusting myself. It smells like strawberries. Does it smell like strawberries in here? Oh, I think it might. It's, <laughs> you look comfortable there I'm in the camera. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> she's, she's got all these buttons and features and oh. Hey, stop it. Let's get a look at the bonnet first. And we'll test. We'll test it in a second. But first, oh, she's a heavy bonnet. That tire shine. Why is it even here? That's my question. Go to Sarah. Pop, 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 pop. It's got a brand new battery, literally. All right, let's check the oil. With no doubt that this will be nice and beautiful. Ooh, is this a diesel? Oil is a bit, how are you going? I think it actually is. Yeah, it is. That's the turbo right there. You're joking. Oh, this changes it. This changes it. Oh, this changes it. I'm buying this. She is a diesel. I'm right. So, Xavier, it's got one of the best brand turbos I've ever heard, I've ever known. Honey Wee. Honey Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Honey we Honey the best turbos in the business. <laughs> Honey we Honey the best turbos in the business. Honey we Honey the best turbos in the business. <laughs> Start her up. Foot on the brake. Fired right up. Oh. Just needs a top up on the fuel. 
Tell you what, this would be a very quick sale. Literally buy it, clean it, and then sell it. Exactly. 163,364 cars in the block. Staying through is good. This is the only car I'm interested in. Bone stereo. Oh! That is important when the work. Auto doesn't go down, but she sure does. Auto function doesn't work. Oh, aircon on. Put it down to tour. 18. Heated seat. Oh. Cool. Give that a second. It is on. Oh. That's eco. Yeah, she's on. Oh, the compressor clip on. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, hang on. There. Oh, that's nice. Do we have aircon at the back? No, we don't. No. Oh, that, that's. Oh, that's a. Radio. Do we have radio? Does she go into reverse? Sure does. Backup camera too. Drive. Sport mode. Right. Reverse. Drive. Beautiful. Do we have headlights? Check down that window. Oh, LEDs too. Oh, no way. She purrs like a kitten. She sounds quiet. Do we have? We got backup. We got lights. Rear. Oh. Tell me not to. This is beautiful. Everyone's gonna think, oh, why are you staying so excited about Mazda CX-5? Well, no, I'm I, the same thing. I don't know, I'm... It's beautiful. Cheers, Bala. Like, it's got, oh. Steering feels good. Mmm, she's got a parking so nice issue. Let's give her a quick rev. Where's the temperature? Oh, it's already, temperature's already warm. Engine sounds good. Oh, got a bit of a peel there. Fire it up. Fired right up. This is amazing. It's even got Tom Tom, mate. So when you go up to it, oh, that is cool. Now, what if you try to open the boot and I'm not there? Does it still unlock? Does it actually unlock? Alright, so I'll, what if I come close to it? Oh! Mate! Anyway, this is a def, definite contender on my list. Anyway, that's all we have. End of video.